Okay, so I'm going to say this, and this was uh, the example I gave you is a, a strong one. Um, three, this is just a rule of thumb, but three, of three or more orders of magnitude in each dimension is great, right? So that's, that's kind of what you're looking for. Um, of course, you want to be able to explain why that scaling is there, and that becomes the big game. Uh, you know, it's not bad if you, if you, you could have it so that you know, one of them is you know, not quite in that category. And if, if, you, if you're getting down to less than order of magnitude, and there are many papers that publish this, and it looks like there's a nice little straight line, I'll show you a couple, I guess, uh, then you should be worried. It could be just anything at that point. So there's a proclivity to find power laws anywhere, right? People got a little excited. This is what happens. We're social beings, and there are just sort of decades of people finding them all over the place. But the three is a big deal. All right. <sighs> there was a guy from Norway told me that, I think. Jens, um, what's his name? Looks like Santa Claus, actually. So, All right. I always wondered. Uh, so we have, uh, here's an example. This is, a, this is a good paper, and Louis Betancourt is an excellent character, but this is a questionable plot. And I'll show you some more of their work later when we talk about cities, which is fine. They use natural log, which is a debacle because, you know, you get a lot more, you, you feel like, uh, you know, there are many more orders of magnitude until you realize that they've done something sneaky. I mean, at least they put LN, I suppose, so they tell you that. But this is not good. This is a very weak scaling, right? So the exponent is 0.093. There's some reasonable fit. So what is this? This is population of cities, and this is the average walking speed of people in the city. So some poor graduate students were forced to, uh, requested to um, go and watch people walk around and, and, um, and, and figure that out, right? Uh, <coughs> I don't know who did that, but uh, this is pretty, so you see here, this is a really small range in, in variation here, and I don't think this holds up with other studies, but this is a, people like this result, so they, c they keep kind of putting it out there. So bigger cities, people you know, move faster as they walk around, because it's more exciting and so on. But there are definitely, and we'll get to this, there are some, it, it does seem to hold up, the bigger cities have a number of interesting superlinear Scaling. There's a superlinear scaling that, s that shows that bigger cities will have more crime, but more innovation, more wealth, right? So there's social things that tend to go up, but not all of them. That's, there's more stuff being added, and I have that in here later. All right, so that's a bat. I'm just going to say no, right? Don't do that. 